The 3 kinds of leftovers you should never eat again. Before we start with this video I would like to ask you a simple question, what do you think can we avoid leftovers, well my answer is no we simply can't avoid them, and to be honest with you this means one thing, there will always be leftovers. Many people hate the idea of leftover food because it doesn't taste and smell the same as a fresh one, but then there are others who have befriended the microwave to warm every kind of food and make it usable again. And now let's get back to our subject, as we said leftovers are inevitable and that's a fact, you just can't avoid them, why, because you cannot possibly always eat up everything you cooked in the day, but beware it could turn out to be a perfect recipe for food poisoning. The experts say that you should be very careful, why, well because the Food Standards Agency says that the secret to healthy eating is in the 4 CS, cooking cleaning, chilling, and cross-contamination. Especially foods like meat that needs to be cooked thoroughly to kill any harmful bacteria present in it. Even with reheating food, ensure you are not reheating the same dish twice and that the steaming happens all the way through. We highly recommend that you should avoid eating leftovers of these three foods, or else you might end up spending time at the doctor's chambers. One leftover rice. Can I ask you a simple question, did you know that leftover rice can cause diarrhea and vomiting, of course it can and unfortunately this is very common because we all eat leftover rice stored in the fridge overnight. Here's what you need to know, the Food Standards Agency says that if the rice isn't cooked properly, it contains spores of harmful bacteria that often live through the initial cooking process and to top that off, if your leftover rice is not stored at the right temperature these spores multiply rapidly and may lead to indigestion and in worst case diarrhea and vomiting. So if you think by reheating rice you can salvage its nutritional value you are mistaken. You should also know that these spores are actually able to survive even boiling hot temperatures. So the best way to eat your rice is hot and fresh but in case there are leftovers immediately refrigerate it. By allowing it to stay at room temperature for any more than an hour promotes the growth of these dangerous spores. 2 Leftover Vegetables Here's what you need to know, well many people think that by reheating leafy greens, you will eliminate their nutritional value and make them poisonous, but the real truth is the way they are stored actually makes the difference between healthy and dangerous. The Center for Food Safety says that leftover greens should be immediately refrigerated, but in case you don't intend to use them for another 12 hours, so the best thing you can do is to freeze them. How this works? Well the nitrate compound in veggies such as celery, spinach, lettuce, and beetroot, when left in room temperature can trigger bacterial action causing the accumulation of nitrate. The experts say that nitrate intake is known to be harmful for infants and kids as it can lead to a blood disorder whose symptoms include fatigue, shortness of breath, headache, and seizures. 3. Vegetable Oil Unfortunately the real and ugly truth is that we all use the excess oil from cooking a dish to make another right, the experts say that you should be very careful because reheating meals that are made with vegetable oil leftovers can put you at a risk of heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Here's what you need to know, a recent study has discovered that reheating of polyunsaturated oils of corn, soybean, canola, and sunflower that has linoleic acid, releases a poisonous compound that can lead to several health disorders. The word is about a fatty acid named 4-hydroxytransthunonrenal HNA, and you should also know that this has been linked to many different health problems such as, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Huntington's disease and liver ailments. We really hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family.